The Water Resource Management Agency, in partnership with the St. Lucian Division of the Jeff Crew Plus, has embarked on a component one of an extensive initiative to confront the urgent challenge of wastewater management in St. Lucia. The project aims to develop wastewater guidelines and implement effective solutions in critical areas, prioritizing the sustainable management of wastewater. Consultant attached to the Wastewater Management Guideline Project, Gordon Wyke, highlights the importance of addressing gaps in the enforcement of existing regulations and ensuring that users follow proper wastewater management practices. There are significant areas of concern in terms of how, the, how these regulations play out. Okay, so we have the regulations, but is enforcement um, adequate? Okay, do we are um, users actually doing the right things? Do they have the information to, um, to to implement the wastewater management strategies on the ground? So this particular guidelines are to offer um, solution a solution in terms of guidance, in terms of education, in terms of communication to users on the island, so that they can. Um, benefit and they can know exactly what they need to do for the different, as we saw today, we were discussing just now, the different functional groups across wastewater, be it users, be it treatment, be it conveying of the wastewater, be it disposal of the wastewater. Targeting peri-urban villages, canneries and miku, the project aims to protect human and environmental health by establishing a demonstration site on a farm in miku. This site will showcase an integrated pig waste management system promoting sustainable agricultural practices while minimizing the impact of local water resources and safeguarding the environment. Water Resource Specialist of the Water Resource Management Agency, Miguel Montout, states that the project will also retrofit community bathrooms in canneries with advanced technologies and best practices for wastewater treatment and disposal. These upgrades will not only minimize the impact on the marine environment, but also improve water and sanitation conditions, enhancing the overall well-being of the community. There has been a lot of interest in um, the, the um, rural, peri-urban um, villages in St. Lucia, particularly um, canneries and ancillary. And um, there have been you know, studies which have been done in, in those areas, and there was a particular study which was done um, in canneries um, to basically look at um, intervention, the possible solutions for solving the wastewater issues. And that's um, primarily because a lot of the, the um, septic tanks are located near the coast and there is the interface between the, these septic tanks and the sea um, as, um, as um, created a lot of risks. Right, for the marine environment. So as a result, um, the project, seem, um, um, the, as, for the project, we decided to target um, canneries um, because we saw that there was a need for those interventions there to protect um, human life as it pertains to public health and environmental health. So that was one of the main reasons that we targeted, we targeted canneries. For the, the successful execution of this project will not only enhance the quality of life for the communities involved, but also serve as a model for future wastewater management initiatives in St. Lucia and beyond. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.